Today I'm going to be looking at my MIA2 series mask, and we're going to start with this bag. This is the M4 bag. It was uh, almost immediately issued after the MIA2 came to be. At first I believe these were using the M3A1 bags, but like I said, almost immediately they switched to the M4. The main difference on the M4 was this flap is a bit narrower. Uh, this button snap has a little waist strap here. Easier to get to and close. Also, all the lot numbers we said we have M4, lot number P22. Uh, the M4A1 bag came after this, and really the only difference was uh, an extra four inches on the waist strap. And we have our two MIA2s. This one's in much better shape, but this one still does retain its flutter valve. Anyway, so we're going to get onto this one. So the MIA2 was. Developed in 1935 after uh, the MIA-1 and MI face pieces were, became too costly to produce. This was going on in the Great Depression, you should know. This is essentially the same. Thicker rubber, I believe. The stocking net isn't as thick. And the main difference is the sizing. The MI and MIA-2 mass had sizes 1 through 4. However, this has universal and a series of small ones, just in case, because that was a really poor decision. These are also fairly common to find on the market. And now here's the stocking at hose, nice and squishy. Flutter valve is gone. Got our harness with its lot. Eh. Oh, light isn't getting in there, is it? Oh, there's the U in there, size universal. Pretty basic uh, nose cup. It's a tisset system in there too. Tisset system was uh, to redirect some of the inhaled air to go to the eyepieces and help defog them. Uh, the mask is unfortunately deformed. It's been sitting in an antique store for a year or two. Let's see, we have our MIXA1 filter. Technically M9A1, but I have a weird way of pronouncing things. M9A1, M1XA1, or MIXA1, United States, lot number there, the little rubber disc, there were uh, earlier filters of this, there was the M3, I believe these use the M3 filter, however most commonly they have the MIXA1, sometimes the MI MIX filter, Sometimes the M8 filter. It all depends, really. But you're almost always going to find an MIXA1. They're nice filters, though. Six inches. Uh, activated charcoal and... Uh, let's see. Soda lime. They're experimenting with asbestos in the 30s because World War One mass, as far as I'm aware, didn't contain asbestos. However, I still would not wear a, f a mask with a filter older than the 1990s, maybe the 80s. I, mean, I wear some of my masks, but they don't have the filters on them. This, uh, I'm pretty sure this contains asbestos. M9, M9A1 filters almost always had asbestos in them, because that was when they were experimenting. I believe the M8 didn't have the corrugated sides of this MIXA1. The M3, I believe, this angle this angled tube wasn't here, it was just a vertical tube. And then in, I believe it was 1941, pretty much as we entered the war, uh, we switched out to uh, just a rubber hose, a darker face piece. And this one's in pretty bad shape, as you can see, but it's got its original flutter valve there. March 1941. Hose is, uh... Hey, look, a bug! dead bug but it's a bug anyway so this is the hose and uh, same same thing you know size universal I don't really want to open that up because some of the rubber is actually falling off the rubber on this is pretty bad not as bad as my RFK which is that in that blue tote but it's pretty bad yeah Let's see such as there's a few pieces of it over here but anyway this one, it's most likely been used for training, so they kind of cut the hose off. Uh, 
you know, the kind of screw bezel lenses, same with the MIA one. The MI had pressed in lenses with, I, I, I'm not quite sure what they're called. But anyway, here's the two M, M, uh, MIA2s next to each other. You can kind of compare them. Yeah, I know it's shaky and it's not a good video. I, I'm getting a part time job, so well, in the summer, so don't worry. Plus, it's, uh, I believe, at a military artifact store, so that's even better. I get to learn even more about these and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, that's about as far as my knowledge expands on these. Might be a few things dug into the back of my head, but that's all I can really remember at the top of my head. So, anyway, that was the MIA2 series mask. Oh, here's a lock. I don't know why it's on there. And, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe you learned something. Maybe I'm a buffoon. Who knows? So, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.